I have sinned against God and man. Pray for me. I am involved in a cause. Um, you ask him. Can I ask a question? Yes. The governor. What about you? What is his fate? Will he survive? <laughs> in this world we live in, nothing happens by accident. His Excellency's helicopter did not just fall from the sky, just like that. My being the deputy governor is not also by accident. I was chosen to carry out our planned program. His Excellency, we will pass a new government with this world. Well said. Well said. In that case, I will say congratulations, Your Excellency. Thank you. You will make an excellent scholar, and you also will make an excellent partner in this Well, I'll be running along. Have a nice day, Your Excellency. Business. 
you joined this business 10 years ago. I have carefully watched your business go to what it is today. Just a while ago, I saw the deputy governor of this state leaving your compound. No one can look at the compound. Look at how we do it. Agency, but I shall have a look at how we do that. Chief, please, I want to know the secret. What is what? I know the secret of your mind. What have you done to succeed? Where people like you have failed. Success in my life. All thanks and glory go to God Almighty. I could tell you, everybody says this. We all know about this. But we also know that we are lying to ourselves. Huh? I have heard talks, rumors, and whispered words that our people are afraid to speak of. And that is what I am asking you to let me do. I want to know, Chief, that extra thing that I need to do to have the kind of money you have. The extra thing I would recommend is hard work. Hard work, trust, and reliance on God and His Word. Reliance on the one who says he can take a beggar from the dunghill and sit him right there in the midst of princes. Akaya, there you go again. I know those words. I know those conditions. But I tell you, in life, nothing stands alone. If a blind man is not met across the road, most times he walks into an oncoming bed with his eyes wide open. Chief, I almost Give me what you know about it. I am very, very willing to do anything. Well, I have told you what I know and what I did to make my money. That is it, right? If you have come here to suggest anything as in please, do not come to my house again. Me and my household, we will serve the Almighty living God. Huh? Everybody, you are not Money, right? What else? What more did he say he wanted? Oh. Mm -hmm. Chief, you and I know that that is not totally true. 
I never had a master to show him how you made your money. Sure. But I hope you did not go tell him anything. Listen, you can't go about telling your enemies which route you took while wanting after the same antelope. Be afraid. So, what are you looking for in that dung hill when I have separated you? Come out of them. For that where you are in is the place of destruction and perdition. Come out of them and be. To... On the phone? <sighs> Never mind. So why are you going to? I thought you had just served your food. Alex. Hey. Alex.
without rules. That must be theirs. Forgive me, Chief Priest. I would never break those rules if there were not urgencies that need to be addressed. Thank you for forgiving me. I had a visitation just now. If I knew, I would definitely know how to handle it. That's why I come. I have questions. Questions that need answers. I need to know what to do. What what is you? First place has the right to walk the face of the earth. If we do not give it permission, where this spirit took no permission from anybody, it stood there and it spoke words that it had no rights knowing. Forgive me, but do what I like to permit. A friend of mine had come to my place earlier in the day, asking me what I do to make my money. And then he left. I walked into my bedroom, and this figure just stood there. It had no face and no shape. And he told me that I lied to my friend. That is no lie. Only a wrong perception of that which is spoken. It also told me to leave the nativity, the place where I am. It said that it is a place of perdition and destruction. A breach, a breach in your defenses. You will have evil spirits to walk into your home and unknowingly you have done something wrong to attract their presence. No spirit can walk this path. If they do, then it is a tear in the fabric of time, space, and dimension. They come in to deceive and to kill. We have the power to send them back to the nethers, the bottomless pit, where they come from. The weight of authority you carry is sufficient to repel those who seek your destruction. Forgive me, Nathan. Far from it that I doubt your words, powers, or your knowledge. But this spirit could teach me. And I went into darkness. But its presence never inspired any form of fear. Oh no. It inspired calmness and peace. Peace like I have never ever felt before. This saving spirit. Lying demons, they cannot give peace. They cannot grant wealth that our master. And he did not permit any spirit to visit you. Go and repair it. Go and repair the breach, the opening from where they entered. You know what to do. Of course. The sacrifice will be arranged immediately. Good. His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, asked me to table his regrets. The President had called for an emergency Council of State meeting over the tribal killings in the north, and he just has to be there, knowing that the Governor is indisposed. It is a good thing. The Governor will pass on after the moments of the worship of tomorrow's night. Thank you once again for the audience. Bless 
you and bless my family too. Sometimes I wonder whether it is not the same business we are all in. I mean, I have not met anybody for the past two weeks. Everybody says there is a swamp in the building and construction industry. I go to a man who is in the same business with me. He dips his hand in his pocket and carelessly gives me 75,000 naira without thinking about it, without batting an eyelid. The same man turns around and says to me, if the money is not enough, that I should come to his office by tomorrow and he will give me more. Are you not happy that he gave you this money? That is not the issue. I'm happy, at least you have the money you have. Amara, that is not what I am talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. Where is all this money coming from? That is the question. I thought you said you would ask him. Uh, well, I did. The man almost sent me out of his house for his net. That there is something that he does for the money. He swore that God is behind his money. Now tell me, Amara, what sin have I committed? This same God that I tried so much to worship has bluntly refused to give me money. Maybe you are not worshiping him right. Did I hear you right? Don't I go to church every Sunday and every Tuesday? Don't I go to any morning prayers before going to the market on Saturday? Don't I pay my tithes and give for the building fund? So, what is? Is he doing that I am not? What else do you want me to say now? What do we say? Anyway. Whatever like it is they are doing to make all this world, I'll find it out. I'll find out. What? But it gets to me. It gets to me. It baffles me. What? That every time he gives me this money, I don't know what I've done with it. The next moment the money is finished. That goes to suggest that there's something else they do with this money. No, I don't know. I don't know. But at least God is using me to bless us. What are you making? Cynthia. Dad, are you okay? Daddy. Where are you coming from? Chief, you know that ignoring me is not going to solve any matters. So you might want to tell me. What's going on? I went to see the chief priest. What for? I had a visitation when I went up to my room. You were downstairs. A ghost, a spirit, whatever. He came to me and he left me a warning. A warning? Oh yes, that was why you found me asleep. I had no intentions of going to bed at that time. But he came to me and he touched me and then I just passed out. And the next thing I, I woke up and I saw my shoes carefully arranged. That much I can remember. You know, when I was coming upstairs, along the stairway, 
I actually felt something brush past me. You know, I couldn't tell if it was a human being or I don't know, because I, I didn't see what it was. I was very certain that something had just brushed past me. They told me to leave the nativity. Why? They said that it is a place of perdition and destruction. Why is that? Like I said, I, I asked the chief priest and he said that there has been a breach in the wall of space and time around me and I have to repair it. Hmm. A sacrifice. So have you made the arrangements? Oh yes, I call the boys. Should be on the way. Hey, you're the careful, babe. Of course. You know I always will be careful. Always. Let me go take a shower and prepare. Let me know when the boys get here. Okay, would you want something to eat? Uh, I'm still gonna make you food. My head says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How do I make my heart go where my head goes? You have not been given the permission to walk the face of the earth. Neither have I given you the right to walk into my world. Stop manipulating my mind this minute, I warn you. Stop disturbing my peace. Or I will call down all the powers of the nativity and you will be utterly, utterly destroyed. I am the Lord. Who has instructed me on the foundation of the world? And say no when I have said yes. Where can you go to hide from the one who knew you before you were found in the bed? Oh my 
checked the girl to find out who she is. Then she turned around and asked to pass this for a while. And then he left. Okay, you go ahead.
water is safe and alive wherever she is now. Stop wasting time, let's go! Of course, you heard a slide when you saw my daughter. Why are you so disgusting? Let's go, stop wasting time! <laughs> and perdition. What I do not understand, Father, is why me? Why would God choose me? Why, why would he choose a man like me, a man who has his hands stained with so much blood? Why me? After all, I, when he forced me to serve the devil, I choose to do it myself. Why me? Listen, my son. You did that in ignorance. As regarding why you, okay, God's law is not like you and law. God knew that sometimes we do not know the right thing or even the right way to pray. That's why we make mistakes here and there. So don't bother yourself, my dear. But why do you want to call it again? I told my boys to set her free. Yes, Nice thing you have done. How am I going to hide you? What am I supposed to do now? I, I hear voices. Voices in my head. What do I do? My son. All you have to do is to surrender yourself. All and entire. The Never let us win. Alex! Alex! I 
from your worshiping devil. Ever. Let him please, my dear wife. I do not want to talk about this. My enemies have decided to use my own husband against me. It will not work for you. Alex, by the way, it will not work for you. I promise you, you will not work for you. You. Oh, so that is you want to send me back to the village. Your plan is to send me back to the village to poverty. But to fear, I bet you in this house, you will receive what you want from morning till night. It will not work for you. For five people, vegetable salad and pussy. But I ventured. I told you I'll be having five visits in the and I want you to be a to them personally. So please, why don't you? Okay, tell you. Good morning, Good morning, sir. Good morning, Yes. I slept like a man. <laughs> because the good Lord says that he gave his beloved most sleep. Uh, did anything else happen last night? No. But when I was burning the clothes, this force, this force hit me down. And then a voice that said that its inscription is on my heart and not on the clothes. My son, I hope you never expected that the devil will keep quiet after he has left his place. No way. For sure he will act and this great action will be very violent. But the word of God tells us that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and casting down imaginations and putting into captivity every thought, notion or idea that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. My son, what matters here is not really what the devil has done in your life in the past or what he's doing now or what he plans to do in the future. But how much of the knowledge of God do you have? That only matters. So what you should do now is to start applying the knowledge of God, my dear. And that's exactly what you do. Oh, then let us go to the child.
is what the world knows. We push him into that practice, completely conscious. We locked him inside himself as a final one, but he's still clinging to his convoluted first. If he does not accept the proposal of joining the activity tonight, I will have no choice than to remove him. We cannot have somebody from the family of the enemy sitting in the government house of this state. The activity will be made in charge of the state like in any other state in the country. I have the feeling that he will not change. He lost his thought. <laughs> I hope his daughter is ready to rescue him from the arms of darkness when I'm about to knock him. That is where I will come in. Oh, sir, I want to do things that I'm hearing about my movement. Level of 
irresponsibility that I have yet met. Akalia, what do you understand by being on God's side? Who is God but the one we serve? Who is God but the one who has given us the beauty, the wealth, and the power? To rule in this world. Who is God but the one who is the son of the morning? Akukaya, who have you allowed to bewitch you? Who? Nobody has bewitched me, Your Excellency. On the contrary, not the one who has bewitched you. All of you, members of the political team, all of you who engage in demonic sexual urges with you know, you don't know the truth. You don't know the truth. If it is more money than you, you can appeal. Access to more resources of the family. If it is more power, I will I do not need anything from the family. I will pretend that it is. I appeal to the chief priest to give me an opportunity to talk with you because of the relationship I have with you. And he was magnanimous. I would rather that you listen to the voice of reason because you may not have fully comprehended the extent of the power and reach of the Nativity family. It can crush you like the mud underneath the feet of an elephant. Aha, uh -huh. one more thing. His Excellency will be passing on this night. And I will be sworn in as the next executive governor of the state. The first thing I will do is to make sweeping changes in my cabinet. And all the members of the Nativity family will have positions in my government. And I have reserved the position of the Commissioner for Trade and Industries for you. But that is, of course, if you resign on this, your foolish madness. Madam, please advise your husband. Thank you. Have a nice day, Your Excellency. Not a word,
What is the difference in the blood of rams, goats, sheep, and that of humans? Blood is blood. Do you know what those priests you want to do with those little ones when you're not there? Of course I do. Of course you don't. You serve the God that has taken delight in you and has stretched for this end of friendship, which you so stubbornly are rejecting. Listen to me. Do not allow the love that he has for you turn into hate. Because my dad, you cannot stand the wrath of Lucifer. yourself about how you go about the whole thing. If really he is the one who spoke to you, for sure he will tell you what to do at any point in time. That is from those of men. The Bible tells us that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it ever entered into the hearts of human creatures what God has in store for his beloved was. What has shown us that from the Spirit? If you will see the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, he will empower you. He will energize you. He will give you photographic memory. 
to remember our dear God. He will stand by you. He will protect you. He will give you a new song. A bad shows in your heart. The Holy Spirit of God will tell you what to do at any point in time. That's all.
so sorry I kept you waiting while going to freshen up. I hope, I hope you thought we were very bored. Oh, no, no, not exactly. The wine has been keeping me company. Oh, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Actually, I just got off the phone with him. He's almost here. Really? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. By the way, the swelling was a huge success. Oh, my God. You couldn't say that again. It was huge. <laughs> I 
Und wenn ich das ist ein bisschen Case. Wenn du das so das meinst du, das ist So be it. Because you see the commission, you are going to accept it, and you are going to become the commissioner. What are you going to do or not? Alexa, I have no intention to fight. I also have no intention to serve the devil any further. So being the commissioner now means serving the devil. In this state? Yes. Who are you? Alex! Alex! You can jump into the negativity. Now, after all these years of hard and I'm not the negativity. It is not time for us to win when we have sold all our lives and give you stand here and tell me that you're ready to just pack up and leave. It is not going to work. You are going to accept that nomination and you will become the commissioner. So, after five years, five solid years, you know, you are going to accept the government. Alex, I hope nothing has gone wrong with you. Oh, something is wrong with me. Something is very wrong with my head. And today, I tell you, you will find out what that thing is. You step out of my way, woman. I have important business to attend. What is loving business? Who gave you the damn business? The nativity. I don't know what's happening now. The, the, the business is about more important than you than the nativity. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Alice, how many times will I tell you that I have found God? I have found Jesus Christ. I have found God. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Only in Him will you find salvation. It is only in Him. What the real sin are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Where is this God? Where is the Lord suffering? Where is He been? How can we show you no news in the world? Where the hell is he? So now, there was a God who beats you out of the covers, dusted you up, brushed you off, gave you fame, taught you wealth. He now suddenly just, just appears, and you think that you would want to start following him. Seriously! I will not stay here and listen to you. You are not going to do anything. I am not going to do anything. I will get out of my way. Reformation, but it seems you have a death wish. 
On the contrary, you people are the ones who need reformation. Members of the Latent. Him who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. If believing and accepting to worship the one true God means having a death wish, then fine. I don't mind dying a thousand times over. <laughs> uh, Kukaya, my friend. If you only understand what it means to die a thousand deaths in a lifetime, you will not open your mouth and talk like that. Because that is exactly what will happen to you. I gave you an opportunity to become something. But you threw it right back into my face. Now, you will understand what it means for both the physical and the spiritual forces. Come after you. I will kill you. And I will enjoy doing it. And when I am done, I will hand you over to the chief priest. Fine. Do what you must do, your excellency. I have gone too far to go back now. I know that it will be an honor to suffer and die for what I believe. Have a nice day, your excellency. Akkale! Akkale!
this thing.
from them all. Lo, I am with you all the way, even to the end of time. Open your eyes. Let's see. 